Elon Musk's SpaceX has set a new standard for the appearance of human spaceflight in the 21st century with its Crew Dragon spacesuits. These suits, recognized for their iconic white look, are just the beginning of SpaceX's ventures. While they catch the eye, these outfits also offer practicality and style. Sounds intriguing, right? But what is the purpose of developing a new spacesuit? Curious to know more about this? Well, in this video, we are going to take a closer look at the new spacesuits from SpaceX and jump into their fine detailing. If you remember, in 2019, NASA introduced a state-of-the-art spacesuit for exploring the moon. Due to delays and budget constraints, NASA opened a competition for outside designs, leaving out SpaceX despite its expertise in spacesuits. SpaceX's journey into spacesuit design began in 2015 with a collaboration with Hollywood designer Jose Fernandez. Engineers worked to enhance the suit's form and function, focusing on aesthetics and practicality rather than use outside the spacecraft. Unlike traditional suits, SpaceX tailors each suit to the astronaut, addressing mobility challenges and some of the discomfort and bruising that often was caused by the old suits. SpaceX's tailored approach solves these issues. Difficulties with mobility during spacewalks arise from the suit inflating under pressure. Previous solutions included mechanical joints and flexible parts for fingers. However, alignment and natural movement remained problematic. SpaceX's custom fit solved these alignment issues by adjusting joints and using crisscross tensioners for support. Reducing suit air volume increases mobility but raises the risk of decompression sickness. SpaceX carefully balanced pressure for both mobility and safety. Their suits contain more oxygen than Earth's air. What sets SpaceX apart is a single port controlling pressure, temperature, and air. An umbilical cord connects the suit to the spacecraft's automated system, eliminating external valves. This integrated design makes the suit lighter and easier to put on. Compared to the space shuttle suits, SpaceX's design incorporates the helmet, gloves, and headset, allowing astronauts to suit up quickly on their own. The space shuttle suit required over 20 minutes of assistance. Interestingly, SpaceX's expertise in spacesuits didn't lead them to bid for NASA's competition due to their independent work on EVA suits. Now let's introduce the brand new Space Race IVA suit. What's striking about SpaceX's suits? While their impressive appearance might suggest style over substance, this assumption is inaccurate. These suits represent the forefront of flight suit technology, excelling in providing comfortable space travel. It's important to clarify that these aren't typical archetype spacesuits. Astronauts on SpaceX's Crew Dragon wear an IVA suit, an intravehicular activity suit. This differs from the EVA, or extravehicular activity, suits used for spacewalks. To understand SpaceX's potential EVA suits, grasping the concept of IVA suits is key. The IVA, or flight suit, is worn only during launch and landing operations. Also called a pressure suit, its main purpose is to maintain astronaut pressure in worst-case scenarios. Ideally, this suit wouldn't be needed, as the Dragon capsule is pressurized and has life support systems. However, if things go wrong mid-flight, the consequences could be dire. A tragic example happened in 1971, when the Soviet Union lost a crew of three on the Soyuz 11 mission due to capsule depressurization during re-entry. This incident, caused by valve damage at stage separation, led to the crew suffocating within a minute of the breach. This event highlights the importance of the IVA suit. Once a spacecraft is in orbit, its safety measures are fixed. This is where the modern IVA suit comes in, supplying breathable air, regulating temperature, and maintaining pressure. It can protect an individual in space's vacuum, but it's reserved for emergencies during ascent and descent maneuvers. SpaceX strategically designed the Dragon capsule for a forward-thinking approach to human spaceflight, which inevitably called for the development of a pressure suit. Elon Musk aimed to create a distinct and memorable appearance for astronauts and enlisted the expertise of Hollywood designer Jose Fernandez, renowned for his work on superhero costumes. Despite Jose's lack of prior experience in spaceflight attire, he was tasked with crafting a sleek, superhero-esque suit that departed from the cumbersome look of traditional space shuttle suits. The suit's aesthetics took precedence over functionality in its early design stages, as Elon had faith in his technical team's ability to reverse-engineer it into an approved IVA suit for NASA. Each member of the Dragon crew is equipped with a bespoke unit, carefully crafted at SpaceX's headquarters in California. This tailored approach enhances functionality 
by providing an impeccable fit that aligns with key joints like shoulders, elbows, and knees, thereby facilitating better movement and control under pressure. One notable change from conventional pressure suits is the elimination of external valves and hoses, contributing to the suit's minimalist and sleek appearance. Unlike modern designs such as China's Taikonot suits, which prominently feature visible valves, wires, electronics, and hoses, SpaceX's suit prioritizes functionality without sacrificing aesthetics. So how did SpaceX effectively manage all the technical components? The first step was designing the suit to seamlessly integrate with the Dragon capsule systems. Upon entering the capsule, crew members simply connect an umbilical cable from their seats to a port on their suit's thigh. This single connection provides power, air, and a pressure line. The suit ensures astronauts breathe a carefully regulated mixture of oxygen and nitrogen, expertly managed by Dragon's onboard computer to prevent issues like nitrogen bubbles forming in the bloodstream during pressure changes. The suit's air mixture is chilled to maintain astronaut comfort even during the intense heat of re-entry. Equipped with built-in sensors, the helmet monitors pressure and temperature, sending data directly to the automated computer system, eliminating the need for manual adjustments by the astronaut. This design choice eliminates the requirement for external valves on the suit. By streamlining the hardware, SpaceX not only enhances the suit's appearance, but also simplifies the process of donning and doffing the suit for the crew. In contrast to older flight suits that necessitated intricate assembly with assistance from multiple individuals, SpaceX's suit boasts a streamlined one-piece jumpsuit design. Astronauts slip into the suit through zippered pants, stand up, put on boots, zip up, and they're ready. Additional forearm zippers allow astronauts to slip their hands out for delicate tasks. The gloves provided by SpaceX offer excellent dexterity and are equipped for precise control use, even reminiscent of an iPad within the Dragon spacecraft. These suits effectively fulfill their purpose. Looking ahead, SpaceX is aiming to push its capabilities further. Jared Isaacman, the leader of the Inspiration4, will undertake the Polaris Dawn mission, which strives to achieve the highest Earth orbit by reaching the Van Allen radiation belt. At an altitude of 700 kilometers above sea level, the crew will perform a spacewalk while donning an upgraded SpaceX IVA suit. The Polaris Dawn mission serves as a testbed for improved EVA suit functionalities. With the future colonization of Mars in mind, the need for a robust spacesuit becomes paramount. Building upon the existing design, the Polaris Dawn mission owns the capabilities required for spacewalks. The concept art for Polaris Dawn showcases the Starman suit outside the Dragon capsule, connected by an umbilical line. While the final design of SpaceX's EVA suit may vary, the continuity of the IVA-EVA umbilical connection seems like a logical approach. Drawing a comparison between ISS spacewalks with back-worn life support and Polaris Dawn's approach, the latter evokes the spirit of NASA's 1960s Gemini project. Early astronauts relied on an umbilical connection for support, composed of gold-coated nylon and a silicone rubber hose, boasting 350 pounds of tensile strength and a 1,000-pound nylon tether. While SpaceX may need to strengthen its umbilical cord for this purpose, the concept remains feasible. Another critical consideration for spacewalks involves maneuvering within the vacuum of space, a stark departure from the controlled environment within the ISS. The ASH astronauts have relied on a combination of tethers and assistance from the Canadarm robotic system to navigate the exterior of the station. They also have access to a space jetpack powered by nitrogen gas thrusters for movement. However, Polaris Dawn won't have a robotic arm, and the jetpack might be too unwieldy for the mission. Taking inspiration from Project Gemini, you'll notice that astronauts held a unique contraption in their hands, which was an air pressure gun used for maneuvering. Space SpaceX could potentially develop a similar device for Polaris Dawn, creating a more compact version suitable for modern use. Imagine a concept resembling Iron Man's hand thrusters, which could prove effective in this context. A significant concern for SpaceX in designing their new EVA suit is radiation protection. Since Polaris Dawn intends to perform a spacewalk at extreme altitude of 700 kilometers near the inner part of the Van Allen radiation belt, astronauts will encounter much higher levels of cosmic radiation compared to the levels experienced at the ISS, positioned around 400 kilometers above Earth. Thus, stepping outside the capsule under these conditions could pose serious health risks unless proper shielding is in place. 
While the current IVA suit likely lacks radiation protection because it's unnecessary within a shielded spacecraft, SpaceX has an opportunity to incorporate effective shielding into the current suit design. A promising material for blocking cosmic rays contains a substantial number of hydrogen atoms. One viable candidate is polyethylene, a plastic polymer. This material could be woven into a matrix of threads to create an additional protective layer within the EVA suit's shell. Incorporating this layer wouldn't drastically alter the suit's design, but would significantly enhance protection from cosmic radiation. Using insights gained from the initial EVA test on Polaris Dawn, SpaceX can then move forward with developing a dedicated extravehicular activity suit. This progression aligns with their ultimate goal of crafting a suit for interplanetary activities, particularly for future settlers on Mars. Stay tuned for weekly updates on all topics related to aerospace industry and interstellar exploration. So, do you think this new space suit will set a new standard for space travel? How might it impact upcoming interplanetary endeavors? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're as excited as we are about the future of space travel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned with us for more fascinating insights into the cosmos and the technologies propelling us there. Thanks for joining us on this journey.